guys, welcome to part 1 of setting up your own Rust legacy server. In this part I'll be showing you how to set up the basics without any plugins or mods. First what you're going to need to do is obviously own the game Rust. So you can either get that from G2A, which is uh, one of the websites I use to buy my games. Search Rust, fucking spell Rust. And then, it's really cheap on this website. As you can see, $7. Uh, I, I, I use another site called Kingwin. It's another great site. Um, G2A is a bit better, in, but then obviously you have, they vary. I lied. Well, it might be the same. Dollars, pounds, conversion rate. <laughs> or you can just get it off the Steam store. Where it's very expensive, really, compared to the other two. Next, after, you've, after you own the game, you're going to want to make a folder to where you're going to create your server. I've already got mine here, Rust Server Tutorial. Then you want to go into the description and download this thing called Steam CND. You want to put that into your folder and then run it. It's going to download all the files, as you can see here, it's downloading all the files. And then it will say loading API, OK, and then you're done. All the files are downloaded. Now, you can log in as your Steam account, but then sometimes it bugs out and says that you don't own the game. I've had experience with that, so I usually log in as anonymous. There you go. See, now we're logged in. Waiting for license. Okay. Now you're gonna have to go to another link in the description, and you're gonna have to uh, download these fi the file or w copy it from the description. This here. First, you wanna gonna you wanna gonna you're gonna copy this. Type it. Well, you can't copy and paste into the command line. So, force underscore install. You, here is where you want to put in your path for your server. So mine is here. You get that by clicking up here. Then um, copy that and then add backslash and then another name. So I'll just call it server. Command that found. It's probably because I did it wrong. There. Yeah. I spelled install wrong. I'll type that again and come back. Okay. So now it'll be forced to, when it installs the uh, the Rust server, it'll install it here, instead of just in a random place. So now what you're going to want to do is install the Rust server. That is by doing this. App, let's go up, date, this will also be in the description. 258550 dash beta legacy validate and now it's going to install your Rust server in a minute so I'll come back when that's installed your progress will be here mine's on 25 so I'll come back in a second there we go now I'll Mine's installed, it'll say success, app 258550, fully installed. Mine seems to inst installed on my desktop, so I'm going to put that back in there. But you'll find it, if if it does install it wrong, then you're going to have to find it. Should be easy to find. It'll probably be, it would take off the last part and install it here. Okay, so now you have your server. Now, you're going to want to go to your start menu and search folder, you know, folder options, open that, and then view and hide extension for, for, for known file types, untick that. That will allow you to change the extensions when you rename things. So if I rename this, it says DLL on the end, I can change that. So what you want to do now is, after you've done that, you have to go into here, where your files are, 
your server was just created and then create a new text document and you can call it anything but I'm just going to call it start and then put dot .bat on the end short for batch file and it'll come up with this dialog box to change just click yes and then edit that and then go into the description again and copy this here Not gonna. Well, I'll explain that for you. First, I'm gonna close that because I didn't open it in my notepad. Okay, so you're gonna paste that. Echo off, and then you have your start. And it starts the Rust server. Exe, which is here. If you haven't already realised, I have two. Well, I have three screens, so that's why I keep moving things off. It'll open it in batch mode, your host name, and you set that to the name of the server you want. So I just put that to Dan B server. The name is Dan, second name starts with B. Port 28015, because that's the default port for Rust. And then your data directory, save slash Rust, which will make a folder in here called save. Max players, set that to whatever you want. I set mine to 10, because I'm only making it for my friends config and then where you want your server config to be and then your oxide directory would be in saves which hasn't been created yet so it will create that in a minute so you're going to want to exit that and save and then you can just start up your server Sorry, you can start up your server open a blank box for a minute and then close that reopen it and then you'll get all these messages. The red ones, you can just ignore those. Those are just saying that the files don't exist or that they already exist and it'll make them. See, now you can see server initialized. That means your server is up. Now I'm just going to quickly start up Rust and I'll show you that it works. Okay, so now I'm going to open Rust. You can just open it in your normal settings. Make sure it's Rust legacy as this is a legacy server. If you do want a tutorial for a experimental uh, branch server, well, the actual main Rust as it's known now, then just comment and I'll probably end up doing it. Okay, now your Rust is open. Just click play, and then because I played in it before, you see Dan B's server, which is what you named it. Uh, um, you just type in your IP, which would be your IP. IPv4 address, which I'll show you how to get in a second. Right now, as you can see, it says user Dan B connected, and I'm in the game. You can talk and everything. It's hello, and then on the console, it'll say what you typed. So now you have your server set up. Now I'll go back to showing you how to connect. No, how to get the IP. You want to go into your start menu and type CMD, and it'll open up this. And then you type in IP config. And now this here is the address you want. Right. Okay. Now what you want to do is type net.connect and then your IP. So your IP and then colon 28015, the default port for Rust. And then it will connect you to the server, as you can see here. Server name, Danby server, level name, Rust Island 2013. You can, close, you can now close that. And then see you're in the server. Danby connected. Alright, well that's the part one of how to set up the server. In the next part I'll tell you how to set up Oxide, which is one of the main server mods used. So you can click the annotation in the top right go to the next or you can click the annotation in the top left to see some gameplay of Rust. Thanks. Hoovers suck. Why does my mum have to hoover when I'm trying to make a video? Can you stop hearing, please, mum?